Mr. Abiyard's most humble man ever. He might say he's a storyteller. I don't think he'd even call himself a historian because he's just too humble. He has always been a reader. He's always been a writer. And his great passion is to share the information about the history of Pensacola. I don't think he's ever come and seen me where he hasn't brought some document to me. You know, when we talk about baseball, you get a document about the history of baseball. You know, I tell people John Appiard stories all the time. I went to his office at the Appiard Agency early on um, when we had first met, and I could hear this like cling, 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 cling from the back room that just echoed throughout the in entire agency. And I've never wanted an object more after hearing him type on his. He was always someone who thought about how do you brand the community? And then of course he grew a local company and he showed that you could capture and have talent here. He says this all the time, anybody can write about buildings, but you, do you have to know the people that made Pensacola what it has become? You have to respect what they've done so that we can build on what they've done. He wants us to learn from the past so we can create a better future. And I think that's what makes him very different than many historians. Many people in their career at around 65, 66, he started over because he has not stopped learning. He wants as many, whoever will listen, he wants them to get an interest in history, an interest in reading, an interest in learning. He is the most amazing man I've ever met and we are truly gifted, every one of us, to have him here. I love you, Mr. Appleyard, and um, I mean that. You are such a great role model, not only to me, but to everybody in this community. A part of what's important to you, Dad, is the legacy you leave for your community and for your family especially. And so on behalf of my kids and on behalf of Diane and myself and all the others who are considered part of our family, you've led a life and done things that make us proud and you've left a legacy for us to shoot for. Mr. Appleyard, I just, I don't think that there's anyone more deserving than this. And I know you will say, oh, there's a hundred people more deserving than this than you, but there isn't. You deserve this award.